Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm Andre. And oftentimes we do out of the box experiences. We do a lot of different reviews that way, but there's amazing value into seeing what people like or dislike three to six months afterwards. And we have Andre here today from Canada. You guys don't recognize Andre, he's part of the After Hours crew. And he's been flying and totally in love with this Tundra for the past, what, six months now? Yeah, I got that back in December and it's been one of these uh, excellent planes just to have it on hand and then available to me. So one thing we wanna do here is a different format we wanna try out. Rather than giving you a review of our first experience, we wanna go back and take a look at the plane from a three to six month perspective. And also use the knowledge from our great community to find out what skill levels required, you know, what mods they've made, and also what the weak points are. So, you ready to put this in the air? Let's do it. By the way, if you guys are looking for specs, we're gonna have a link to the article down below. All right, do you want me to launch you or do you want me to throw you? We'll do off the ground. We just got this place brush talk. I can just put this down? You got it. This is the Tundra and you're going through some ugly stuff here. This gets off the ground, this is amazing. All right, you weren't kidding. That's like half power. <laughs> Now it actually comes with the carbon fiber prop and everything, right? Yes, it does. Yeah, 12 by six. And uh, i that's my first prop. I haven't changed it yet. That thing really cruises too. So this is like medium rates and then it'll slow right down, so. Did you have to do any advanced mixing on your flaps? Uh, just a uh, down elevator. Down elevator. Look at that. Now you've been flying this for about six months. What was your first flight like? Just like this. I, I centered up the controls and did some some to to the spec uh, uh, for the for the trims and everything, and it just took off and took the sky. Uh, and then I rolled into the skis pretty quickly because I had it just before Christmas, and uh, pretty well we had, pretty well after Christmas we had snow, so I threw on a I slapped on a set of skis and flew it all winter long <laughs> with skis. Yes, and it's um, it likes the power. It's not lacking for power, but it looks like you're also carrying about half throttle for cruise. Oh yeah, and even less. I've never done a milk run, so I got about seven minutes on a, on a pack. Okay. 2200 uh, A-spec kind of just, it, it wants to punch. On the lower spec batteries, you kind of just lack it. Uh, it lacks the, uh, the, uh, the punch out that you want. So you, you know? really want some high amperage 60C, 65C batteries. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I'll bring it in nice and close. Ooh, way yeah, down. You can land it actually going towards us a little bit if you All need right. to. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do another little pass over here and I'll come right past us. So I saw one thing I really liked about this with Hobby King did is they have spare parts. You can buy wings, fuselages, yes. everything you and need. They were even talking about some upgrade pieces you can get. Wow, look at that wind. Okay, half flaps. Alright, I'm just going to bring it right to us and land. And not hit your famous posts. <laughs> That's okay, we're all hitting them, so. Oh! Well, now we get to check out that landing gear, right? <laughs> I haven't done that all weekend. I flew all weekend, just spectacularly. Well, you haven't flown here all weekend, so that, there's, a, there's a reason for that. So you get about seven minutes out of a 2200? Yeah. And you, you mentioned skis, but it also comes with what, flaps? Floats. And floats? It comes with a whole float kit. Oh, wow, and that's obviously where these hard points are here. Yeah, and the whole thing, and it, it is a, you could literally, uh, probably like in two minutes, you know, you pop these screws out, pop these guys out, and you can put in the whole ski set, uh, float set, and then you actually have a little rudder on the back end of it. I've never gone, uh, I wanted to do the um, floats on the snow to try it out, yeah. but the skis work so nicely, and you know, you just sit there and you, you I, what I love the most about this airplane is you pop it up, jam on the flaps, turn it around and come down nice and hot and everything. That's awesome. Well, one thing I like here too, this is actually for your uh, bomb bay module, right? Yes. So you got a bomb bay module, you got your skis, you got the floats, and it also has the hard point for your glider toe up here. Exactly. That is awesome. We used that over the weekend, so it's, That was beautiful. What was it like towing the glider? That was, so Chris from the podcast, Chris we're on Cagliani, was piloting the uh, Tundra and I had the, uh, the glider up. It was one of those experiences where I'd never done a tow scenario in my life. Okay, Good. here we go. Fingers on the, fingers there. <laughs> you ready? <sighs> Whoo! There you go, nice job. Ready? Down a little bit. So he's like, okay, first flight, 
use the, ru the rudder, keep it in line. And we, we quickly discovered that actually I had to fly the, air, the, the glider just to keep the balance of it. And by our fourth flight, it was beautiful. We managed to keep the tow line all uh, you know, away nice from the high. flight controls, nice and high. I'm up. She's way up there, buddy. Good. Oh man, it's actually working. Yeah. We're soaring. I know you want to look at it as soon as you come okay. down. Where are you at? Look at yeah, buddy. Look at that. The Cherokee is stocked that way. The only thing we did was we didn't run with the EDF on top. Oh, okay, you took the so, EDF on top. Yeah, took it off and we just set up the CG <laughs> and, and the release is in the Cherokee, so you do have to hard mount. That takes a little bit of, you know, you got to get in there with a with a set of uh, needle nose or something to tie it up, but once it was there, it was You're brilliant. Right. So it's really smart to have that right off the spar too. Yeah. And I do like, uh, you guys all fly together, so you tried to put some orange tape on here to, yeah. to distinguish yourself. I tried, it was, you know, we had three of them flying together and it was, uh, it was interesting. It's a smart tip though. I mean, if you have a lot of people like planes put some color on yours to differentiate it. it i'd love to fly it let's go so you're going to be brave enough to let me try it oh yeah <laughs> well then we get to test out the durability <laughs> all right so i'm on mid rates we'll give it one notch of throttle and then my, my throttle's on seriously i can get through this thing oh yeah so one thing i really really liked about your landing gear was how it was designed you had the spring tensioners on it and everything yeah. and you also have the perspective you've flown a fun cub and you've flown this yeah and you actually like this a little bit more what's, i do what's the difference you feel the fun cub um i never had the, the the stock motor setup and everything compared to this and uh the landing gear i never i never got the landing gear to have the resilience of this aircraft it's good to know uh, i mean the fun cub is perfectly durable but this just had that more modern look and feel to it it definitely did their homework it just performed out of the box i flew it i put it together it was an easy easy build and uh, I mean, you pop the wings on and off. I don't take the wings off. I actually am able to put it in the car as it is, as it is. and don't have, never have to take it apart. Awesome. Let's All right, whirl. Well, let's see what happens here. Oh, you're not kidding. I'm gonna go to high rates. This is nice. And then flaps are forward. Oh, she's cake. I'm not as the pilot <laughs> skill yet to mix the, uh, the, the, the rudder in with the turns. Or I'll do, do it manually. Do you mind if I do some aerobatics? Go for it. Oh, you know, it honestly feels like a very nice, simple trainer, too. That's an interesting perspective. Yeah, well, we were asked often, you know, where would we class this one? And I, I'm often said, like, uh, third, third. third or fourth plane, you know? Yeah. Oh, she hovers great. It is just a nice little workhorse. That that motor and battery combo is, yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm at four minutes. Yeah, you got lots of time. The rudder, you pre do you have low throws on your rudder? Or? I don't remember. You saying you'd like more? Oh, I'm just saying the rudder's a little soft and stuff, but it's really, I mean, the whole plane is very predictable. Let's see if I can skid around on a nice Look at that. <laughs> See, this is like... This is a great um, utility plane. I'll get there as far as my well, skills. Where do, you, where do you describe your skill at? Because my I skills? think you're modest. I think I'm, you're pretty darn good. I'm aerobatic, but I'm not... I'm, you know, I don't... I haven't flown upside down enough, like inverted, to get comfortable to know that I can recover and just get out of something. But I'm getting there. I'll tell you what, I can tell you inverted feels real nice. Just a little push down, about 20% down on it. Yeah. Which is pretty typical for a, you know, high wing, high wing with uh, non-symmetrical airfoil. I like it. And then you know, I get in there with the flaps, and we just, you know, I love just dropping the flaps and coming in and doing nice slow approaches. <laughs> That's really cool, my friend. I like the power. All right, let's go ahead and flip the flaps down. You have a beautiful mix on your flaps. It took a little while because the first time I would fly it, I'd dump the flaps and it would balloon. And I actually, when we got here, I think I was dialing it in even more so because it was like, I just wanted to come, I didn't want it to balloon. Um, and I guess it's just depending on your environment you're flying in as well. Try a landing going towards us here. There you go. 
<laughs> There's some dear friends that we have that we don't get to do much content with anymore because we don't shoot on the weekends. Wayne and Chris Ron Caglione yeah. and uh, Mike yeah. and Chad, you were out there having fun with them, weren't you? Uh, we were everywhere this weekend here in Ohio. So, well, and that's the key to success. It's not just a really exceptional airplane, but it's flying with wonderful friends and getting to meet up with them, getting to make memories with them. So we're gonna be trying a new format called a pilot in their plane. And it's gonna be a review, but also an opportunity to showcase their passions around that platform or the talents that they've come up with from that platform. We're blessed with an incredible community. And one thing we want to do more is showcase more. Uh, we had Andres with his amazing huge P38. Mm -hmm. We have you with your love for your Tundra. We really want to have a way to be able to go into the community and pull out content from the community about things that they're passionate with. So we're going to have a couple links below. Obviously uploading videos that you're passionate about. Tagging them with flight tests helps us find them really easy. But also if you go into our forum section, you're going to be able to see a section under show ideas that is specifically for submitting content, submitting ideas, and also projects that you're passionate about. We really want to be able to use the platform that you blessed us with to showcase amazing talents, amazing love for other airframes, and also friends flying together. So please, if you guys have something that you think we may be interested in, we can't get to them all, but we can at least then plan in the future when we're on road trips on where we're going to stop by and who we're going to cover. Andre, thanks for coming all the way from Canada, man. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Well, let's go ahead and put another battery into it. I agree. And flip it over. <laughs> we'll see you next time.